The creators of ChatGPT have just released a physical robot that could mark the end of humanity or the start of a whole new world. Stick around to find out more. So over the last year or so, ChatGPT has taken the world by storm. At first, people were using this platform to tell jokes and come up with funny conversations, but then everyone started to realize the true power of AI tools like ChatGPT, which can literally create entire businesses from the ground up. Well, an open AI-backed company has just shocked the world once again with its release of a physical robot powered by AI. This thing is absolutely insane, so be sure to keep watching to find out the outrageous capabilities of this new AI robot. So this robot is called Neo. The company described Neo as safe, balanced, and smart. Neo is your intelligent Android assistant. On the One X Robotics page, Neo is also described as embodied artificial intelligence. Further down, it reads, One X is advancing the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence by combining them in an unprecedented way, general purpose androids, inspired by human nature. As they move, they get smarter, becoming as strong, gentle, and capable as we are. Simply by working alongside you, One X androids will learn to adapt to universal applications. So yeah, this thing is big. The whole, as they move, they get smarter ordeal sounds a little Terminator-esque, but there's also no denying that this thing is going to be absolutely revolutionary. So how on earth was Neo created? Neo was created by One X Robotics, which OpenAI has backed with funding. To create Neo, OpenAI was able to raise $22.5 million for 1X Robotics. This funding was then used to create a production line in Texas, with the purpose of facilitating mass production in the coming months. This is interesting because the funding shows that the goal of Neo isn't to be a one-off display of what current technology is capable of. It's designed for the general public to be used in domestic settings on a daily basis. Virtually no other robotics company has had a goal this ambitious. So let's get to the good bit and take a look at some of Neo's unbelievable features. Let's look at the safety features first. The company has stated that 1X tests every Neo in real world scenarios before they are deployed. Neo's soft, organically inspired mechanics make them safer from the inside out, so they're ready for your spaces. So what does this mean? Well, our best guess is probably that these robots aren't going to have any sharp or rough edges on them, meaning that even if there is a big mouth function, Neo won't physically be able to harm anyone. It's great that 1X has gone this far with safety, and they've also recognized that Neo could bump into someone accidentally in the real world and has prepared for this by making it completely unharmable. The website next states that Neo has balanced performance saying, Neo moves like us, so they can meet your needs. 1X engineered Neo for high precision and gentle strength, with arms and legs modeled after human muscle movement, so they can walk through your doors, climb your stairs, and do everything in a more natural, intuitive way. Now, let's not kid ourselves here. This isn't exactly the first time that a tech company had promised a robot that can move like humans, and most of the time these claims are a little exaggerated. The best walking robots right now are easily the Tesla factory robots and the Boston Dynamics robots. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Neo actually moves in a day-to-day -day setting and how it compares to his rivals. Next, 1X talks about smart behavior, stating, Neo embodies artificial intelligence. 1X combines thoughtfully designed bodies with advanced AI minds, so you can talk to them naturally and they can do what you ask. So this is really where we are going to see what Neo is made of, and because OpenAI has backed this project, it's not unreasonable to suggest that Neo could be programmed with GPT-4 technology, which just so happens to be the largest language model in the world right now. This is obviously an educated guess, but it would definitely make sense. What's also likely is that whatever language model Neo is programmed with will probably be an offline version. This is because online models tend to have longer response times, which can make conversations with the AI bot feel very unhuman. An offline model could help to bridge this gap in response time, making Neo's conversations feel more lifelike and real. Another interesting feature laid out by 1X is that Neo will be capable of various household tasks. On the website, we can see a picture of Neo cleaning a table. Next to the headline, you lead, Neo learns. Now, how awesome would this be? Imagine coming home to a clean house, a cooked dinner, and flowers on the table, all thanks to a robot. And here's the thing, 1X has proved that this concept works in the past. One of the company's earlier models called Eve was able to bake a batch of cookies entirely by itself, from getting the ingredients out of the fridge to taking the batch out of the oven. Now, Neo is going to be more advanced than Eve, which is a few years old now, so it's likely that it will be able to help around the house as much as a human being would. So if you hate cleaning 
as much as I do, this must be like music to your ears. Now, being able to do the dishes and make cookies for you is awesome, but it's nothing compared to this next feature. One X has stated that Neo is going to be controlled by VR teleop sync mode. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Ben, did you just make those words up? Well, it might sound a bit confusing, but VR teleop sync mode just means that we're going to be able to control Neo from a different location by using our own body movements. If you've ever seen Pacific Rim, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, this in of itself is very interesting because it means that VR control will be the main way of operating Neo, or it could just be an extra way of controlling Neo when the need arises. Now, this definitely has some interesting applications. In a domestic setting, let's say that you accidentally left the oven on at home. Well, you can simply take control of Neo, go to your oven, and turn it off. And in a work setting, this gets even more interesting. Potentially, we could see Neo being used in a medical setting, with world-class surgeons performing surgery from the other side of the globe. Or maybe Neo could take your physical place at work, helping around construction sites or work in radioactive areas to reduce risk for workers. The possibilities are literally endless. Further on, it's stated that Neo learns from tasks completed in VR teleop, and Neo will will be learned to behave autonomously. With these two features combined, we could see Neo learn routines from VR Teleop and adapt to them to make your life even more convenient. This also means that at least at some level, Neo will have independent decision-making capabilities. This feature, however, is a bit of a double-edged sword. Sure, with autonomous thinking, Neo will be able to become a better assistant by learning what you need as an individual. However, autonomous thinking also brings a bunch of safety concerns. So, One X is really gonna need to consider the level of autonomy that Neo is capable of. So let's take a quick look at the specs to see what powers Neo exactly. So Neo will be powered by an electric system giving the robot a 2-4 to four hour runtime. It will weigh around 30 kilograms, which is much lighter than other robots like the Tesla robot. As for mobility, it will be able to walk at 2.5 miles per hour and run at 7.5 miles per hour. It will also be capable of carrying 20 kilograms at a time, which is much less than the Tesla robot, but this isn't what Neo is designed for. Ultimately, Neo looks like an absolute game changer in the AI world. Not only does this thing look practical, it looks downright revolutionary. Neo is going to be useful everywhere, from schools to homes to hospitals. And with the backing of OpenAI, leading figures in the AI space, I think we have a good reason to get excited for Neo, which might just change the playing field and the robotics and AI game for good. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our recent analysis on whether GPT-5 is forming a worldwide threat or not. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.